And let's just talk about taxes a little bit. I, as much as anybody else, does not like paying taxes. I'm not like Bill Share from Campaign for America's Future, who comes in and says he doesn't mind paying the taxes because he knows what he's getting. You know what? I know what I'm getting and I still mind. But taxes are not actually as high in the U.S. as many would have you believe. And we'll get to that. Here's 10 truths about tax day. We just passed tax day. Number one, over 95 percent of working households got tax cuts. Number two, only two percent of teabaggers know that Barack Obama cut their taxes and 52 percent of teabaggers think their taxes are fair. Also, one percent of families earned almost a quarter of all the income in the country and 57 percent of all capital income, meaning if you include earnings from bonds and stocks, so so far and so forth. 400 richest taxpayers in the U.S. saw their incomes doubled and their tax rates halved and only one in 500 families pays the estate tax. Now, I know we're going to get emails from our conservative listeners saying I'm a pro tax guy. I'm not. I can't stand paying taxes right now. I've got my property tax bill. It's been sitting on my desk for close to a month. It's due in a couple of weeks and I will pay it. And I look at it and I just say it's going up every 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 quarter, every half a year, however often it is that, that it gets paid. I don't like it at all. I think it's too high. But then I looked and I saw Sweden pays 48 percent marginal tax rate, Turkey, 43 percent, Belgium, 55, Denmark, 41, Finland, 45. The U.S. tax in the grand scheme of the countries where we may want to live in is not really that high. Now, I know they are getting health care included, health care and in many cases, a full college, a full education. college education. So my suggestion is instead of working on lowering the tax when it's already not that high compared to many other countries, let's work on getting health care covered for everybody. Let's work on getting college educations for everybody. If we had many, many more people with college educations, wouldn't that help the economy? Uh, probably. I believe it would. Well, you know, everything's connected and, uh, you know, the tax situation is, is directly affected by overall spending, overseas spending, everything. Well, my, my big confusion with the Tea Partiers is why on earth are they so angry about the democratically elected government that the patriots they indicate created this country support? It doesn't make sense. Speaking of weird stuff being said, that doesn't make any sense to me. Joe Lieberman now is thanking God for Republican momentum. I, I am really just getting getting tired of the Joe Lieberman is going as far as he can to throw as much dirt as possible on the left. And you know that the I thank God that Republicans have momentum thing. It has to be planned, right? He's not just ha he's not happening to say, thank God, the Republicans. He, he, he's smart enough that he knows exactly how to bug people, right? how to bug people and, and how uh, how to win people over. Well, take a listen to what he said. There were a lot of people, particularly Democrats, who were declaring after the 2008 election that we were beginning a period of democratic dominance that would go on for decades. Now, all of a sudden, the momentum is with the Republicans. And, and that's, thank God, that's the way the, the people have spoken. You know? All right, Joe, praise the Lord, et cetera, et cetera. We get it. Joe Lieberman is no longer with the Democrats. No surprise. Hey, Texas is saying gays can't get a divorce. There's a couple that got married in Massachusetts. They moved to Texas. They want a divorce, something very common when people get married. Texas is saying because they don't allow same sex marriage, they can't get divorced. The judge actually granted the divorce in the trial itself, but the Texas attorney general appealed it. This is an example where same sex couples clearly have the same needs as heterosexual couples, but not the same rights. And along the same lines, Barack Obama signing a memo that requires hospitals to allow gays and lesbians to have non-family visitors and grant their partners power of attorney when it comes to medical medical issues. Absolutely a no brainer. I agree with Barack Obama. Deval Patrick next. This is Midweek Politics with Dave Pakman. Oh, yeah. oh. 
Midweek Politics is brought to you in part by Jackson & Connor, classically modern men's apparel in Northampton, Massachusetts, on the second floor of Thorne's Marketplace. And by DIF Design, specializing in custom business websites at difdesign.com. To find out more about underwriting Midweek Politics, visit midweekpolitics.com. Thank <laughs> you.